Hello there, this is Dr. Charles, the president of the Unity Revival Movement. I want to ask you a question. Have you ever heard someone say that, I don't see color? They are actually lying. They do see color. When we talk about issues of race, God sees color. I see color. And this is why God created races. He created color. He created black, brown, white, mixed. He created Asians, Africans, Caucasians. He is the creator of races. We know that from scripture that every group, every people group is created by God. God created languages. He created race. He created color. He created gender. So it's okay to see color. It's okay to see race. It's okay to see language and the differences we have. But listen to this. Uh, there's something very incredible about scripture uh, that uh, scripture does not hide the truth scripture shares the truth openly shares the truth and the truth is we are created by god we have different racial groups and this is the meaning of the word race the meaning of the word race is a people group of common ancestry common physical characteristics uh, that means you could be black you could be white you could be brown you could be asian african caucasian you could be mixed you could be a blend of every of these nationalities but you are a racial group because you carry a certain characteristic and certain tone of skin certain hair certain shape of nose and lips and forehead. I mean, all those are characteristics that define how God created you. God loves color. He sees color. He created color. And I want you to be proud of your ancestry, proud of your heritage. White people, you are not supposed to be ashamed of being white in America. Black people, you don't have to feel sorry for yourself for being black in America or any part of the world. Asian people, you belong to this world. Brown people, Latino and Latina, you belong to this huge cosmopolitan universe. And this is very important that we all understand. God sees color. He loves color. He celebrates color. But here is what he hates. He doesn't hate, hate race, he hates racism. Racism is a system of prejudice where the majority oppress the minority. And there could also be racism that comes out of tribalism. You could be black on black, but you hate someone because they come from this different tribe. Being born and raised in Africa, I come from a country of 42 tribes and 64 dialects. And what I've found Tribes kill each other based on tribe, and it is called tribalism. But American tribalism is racism, where even government, money, economy, education, jobs, opportunities, institutions, banks, they work with discriminating some people so that they are isolated from the greater good of the economy and the economy gains and the blessings that come to the nation. Listen to this. Here at Unity Revival Movement, we want to have a blunt conversation about race. And, and, and you are going to be seeing our podcasts that are going to come to you, speaking on this subject of race, bridging the divide and bringing racial reconciliation. God loves race. God loves nations. God loves culture tribe, colors. He sees all of them. But he says, I bring something even higher. And this is what the Bible tells us in the book of First Peter 2 verse 9. It says that you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people of God for God's own possession so that you may declare the goodness of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Isn't this amazing that we are not defined by God according to the tone of our skin, but we are actually defined by God as one race.
race, not just the human race, but one race, which is a royal priesthood, a chosen nation, a people of God. We belong to him. We are one new man in Christ. So you're my brother, you're my sister. No matter what the color of your skin is, we are all one through Christ. Praise God.